Hi, it's Regina here and welcome back to one of my videos where I share a time lapse and I talk about it. I want to apologize because I couldn't upload uh, in, I don't know if it was two or three weeks, uh, when I wanted to be more regular with my videos, but uh, if you follow my Instagram account, also in my other social media, but especially Instagram, uh, you probably know that I was with a cold and I was not feeling well. I'm still not 100% okay. So I don't know if my voice uh, feels funny, <laughs> sounds funny, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> but I was feeling much better now, so I decided that I wanted to record something today. I'm still not sure if I have a schedule for these videos. When I started uh, posting this new series of uh, time lapses with voice, uh, I posted on a Wednesday and I wanted to be more regular, so I did it every week. But yeah, I had this cold and I had to stop. But anyway, uh, I wanted to know that I want, I really want to be uh, more regular with this. I don't know if it will be weekly. Um, it will depend also on the projects I have to do and things going in my life, of course, because sometimes uh, things happen, you know. But I will try to be more regular. I just wanted you uh, to know that. So before we start with this new time lapse, uh, remember to subscribe to this channel, like my videos if you enjoy my content, and remember, you can always support my art on patreon.com slash rgbcn. Link is in the description. The time lapse I'm sharing today is one of my versions of Amy. You know that I love to draw Amy in all possible ways. And it's a digital drawing from this January. And by the way, you asked me a lot of times uh, in which program I draw my digital drawings. Uh, it's Procreate. Uh, you can use it in your iPad Pro. And I also use the Apple Pencil, that it's a really great tool. Uh, but anyway, I use Procreate for the digital drawings, but after that I export them in uh, Photoshop. Uh, you can export it directly from the Procreate app to PSD. And I use Photoshop for final touches and to prepare the post, etc. So yeah, I use also Photoshop for them, but um, mainly I do all the drawing and all the work in Procreate. I'm using this drawing uh, today to illustrate the topic I want to talk about, but in reality I could use a lot of my drawings uh, because I want to talk about what I like to draw the most. And the answer is female characters and hair. I think it was quite obvious, right? I don't know why I love that much to draw female characters. Uh, I just know that I do. I really love to draw girls, women, uh, whatever. Uh, and I guess that it's low-key related to that I really love to draw hair. So I guess that it's related to that. Uh, I used to draw more female characters because normally female characters has long hair and I really love long hair. It's not that other male characters doesn't have long hair because there's a lot of anime characters that have long hair and they are really cool. And I love that. Uh, but when I was little, I used to draw a lot of female characters in general, from animes that I loved and, and other uh, games and comics, etc. And for me, drawing male characters was a struggle. I really didn't enjoy it that much. Uh, every time I tried to draw, to draw um, a male character, he had like mm, a lot of female features, uh, like girlish features. And sometimes it's cool because I know that there's a lot of male characters that are super girlish, etc. But at that point, I was just seeing my drawing and why am why I'm doing this? I, I didn't like that because uh, I for me it was that the the drawing was not correct because I, I don't know maybe I wanted to draw a male character that was super um, super masculine and I was like drawing it. <laughs> In a way that, uh, you know, it sucked <laughs> directly. So yeah, I guess that I stuck with, uh, with the girls in general. Uh, of course, I also drew some, some male characters, of course. Uh, I did because I also love to draw uh, Rama and, uh, and Kojiro from, from Pokemon, etc. And, and other Ash as well. Uh, but yeah, in general, I guess that I drew much more female characters. And, and that's why I didn't like to, to draw a lot of male. So anyway, uh, it's not that I don't like to draw male characters. Now I'm a little more used to that. I practice a lot drawing male characters because I really sucked at it when I started drawing more fan art recently. 
Uh, and, and yeah, I guess that I'm a little better that with male characters, but um, I still have a lot to do and a lot to practice uh, for that. But in general, female characters really, I enjoy drawing them so much. And especially if they have long hair. I don't know why I really love to draw hair. It's something that, I don't know, you can play so much with it and it's super therapeutic um, and you can spend a lot of time. Sometimes it's a, uh, it's the worst part because it's a lot of time. But even if it's a portrait or, or a digital drawing like this or pencil drawing or ink, you have a lot of ways to draw hair as well with other things, you know, but uh, there's so many ways you can draw hair that you can always invent, uh, uh, be free with that. And I don't know, it's just something I really enjoy doing. Um, and I also, especially with the fan art that I'm doing recently, uh, you probably saw a lot of um, versions of the same characters in different ways, uh, with different hairs, let's say. It's the same style of hair. But the way that I draw or color it, uh, it's really different. And I, I have a lot of fun doing that. So yeah, when it's a mix of a female character and super long hair, and you can play with that, it's what I enjoy the most, uh, drawing. In this drawing in particular, I had a lot of fun drawing the hair uh, because of the position of the character. Uh, I, I really had the perfect excuse to draw a lot of hair and super long and play with the uh, with the movement and it was really fun really fun i really remember having a lot of fun i don't know if it took me super long i don't remember uh, the time that i spent with the drawing but i was experimenting so it was also fine if if it took me more hours or or not and yeah because the mix was some of my favorite things i really enjoyed it a lot so that's why a lot of my drawings are basically female characters with, not always with long hair, because sometimes I also like to draw short hair, but it's female characters and hair, female characters and, and hair. And I really have a lot of fun doing that. So if I could just draw this all day, I will be, I will be doing it. But of course, I also want to improve uh, drawing other things, uh, especially male characters. So, so that's why I force myself to sometimes change a little. And I know that I should draw more backgrounds and I should draw other things as well. But I have a lot of fun drawing expressions and, and characters in general. And why not draw something you love? So yeah, that's, that's the reason I draw a lot of female characters and I draw a lot of hair. Because I really love doing that. So that's all I wanted to share today. I know it wasn't a big topic or a deep concept or how to improve uh, with your drawings or this kind of tutorial video. I think there's a lot of amazing artists doing tutorials out there. I wasn't pretending these videos to be that deep. I just want to share my work. I just want to share some of my opinions and thoughts and experiences with you. And I hope that this is enough for you to enjoy it. So yeah, I hope to make another video next week. Let's see if that is possible. I don't want to promise anything because later maybe I will have another call or something like that and my schedule will blow up again. So yeah, anyway, subscribe to this channel, like, this, like my videos if you enjoy it. Remember that I have three more videos if you want to uh, check this out. And yeah. There's also the little bell thing if you want to be notified when I post a video because it seems that I'm not that regular. So yeah, the bell notification is also a good thing. And last but not least, uh, you can always support my art on patreon.com slash rgbcn. So yeah, see you in the next video. Bye bye.